Hey, this is Matthew Shrum. Uh, I wanted to do a quick video on my new Hart 80 volt riding lawnmower. Uh, it costs about $3,000, at least as of today, uh, which is May 23rd, 2023. It has uh, two 80 volt uh, 10 amp hour batteries. So they will last a while. And it was uh, shipped in this metal crate thing here. So these are some of the starting tools that it came with. Uh, the Torx bit is for removing the battery cover. And it came with uh, three of these keys. So I have uh, several backups. Um, I get a lot of questions about about how wide the widest point is and it looks like it's about 40 inches so if you're going through a fence gate or something like that as long as it's less than 40 inches or the fence gate is more than 40 inches then it should be able to fit through it um, here's the charger you can see it if it's not plugged in it has a red glow to it now, I don't know what the connector type is called, but it looks similar to other Ryobi uh, battery-powered mowers. I believe it might be the same type of connector. So once it's plugged in, it switches from red to a flashing blue to show that it's charging. So you take that red-handled screwdriver and remove those five bolts around the battery cover underneath the seat that will give you access to the batteries. And when you first get it, these white plugs are not plugged in. So you have to plug those in. And it's pretty simple. It's also pretty easy to remove these batteries, which you'll want to do uh, every winter. Whenever the weather gets cold out, you don't want these batteries sitting out. Uh, you don't want lithium batteries sitting out in the cold over winter. There's a little button on them to check each one's battery percentage levels. Um, they look exactly the same as the Ryobi 80 volt batteries so if you need backup batteries, if you need to buy batteries, you might be able to swap those out with the Ryobi type. It is made by the same manufacturer I believe, uh, TTI now when you're thinking about which battery powered mower to buy, you'll want to look at the type of battery, whether it's lithium or lead acid. Lithium is better because it can charge from 0% to 100%. Um, and you want higher voltage because higher voltage means the motor will be able to get up hills more easily, uh, cut thicker grass, and you won't have problems with that. Now underneath the seat is this cable. You'll want to make sure that this gets plugged in. Uh, it will not run without that cable. Um, I found mine in this pouch, but it took me a while to find that cable. And now I'll demonstrate some of the uh, controls and stuff on the power. demonstrating the reverse uh, blade. There's the brake and the parking brake. And then on the right side is the forward and reverse pedals.
goes pretty quick. It's fun to do donuts in the middle of the yard. So here I've uh, sped up the video a bit to show kind of a time lapse of mowing my whole backyard and uh, the side yard. Um, there are spots in the yard where there's a bit of a hill and the mower will get stuck. Um, like here, just off camera to the left, I think I had gotten stuck on a little bit of a hill. Um, the mower's fast, but it does the the wheels don't always have great traction, especially if the grass is wet. Um, I find it's helpful to lean to the side where one of the back wheels is sticking up. Um, this is my first time using a ride-on mower uh, compared to a push mower before this. Um, so it's a bit of a learning experience. Um, you can't always do the back and forth mowing like that with uh, the riding mower because of the turn radius. It's not a it's not a zero turn mower, so you will have uh, wider turns to get back to your line. Um, overall, this mow for the backyard and the side yard took about 20 minutes, and after all that, that's what the battery's level is at. You can see just one bar, one green bar, was taken down. I wanted to see how difficult it would be to lift the mower. And it is pretty heavy, um, but it it's liftable. And uh, you should be able to check the blades, uh, clean out any debris that might get stuck in there, or grass that needs to be cleaned out. Anyways, that's my Hart 80 volt riding lawnmower. Um, hope you got some useful information out of it, and uh, I hope it wasn't as boring as watching grass grow. Thanks for watching.